welcome back to my channel it's Tashika Bailey you're probably thinking where the heck have you been why would you post eight videos and then disappear but like, what's up girl but I'm back and I'm better and I'm just here to tell you what's been going on why I've been gone for so long and all that's been happening in my life you know so I can get to know you guys you can get to know me and yeah, I just want to have a little chat and just do my makeup as well. Be doing this face for you guys to see. I don't know what kind of look I'm going to be doing yet, but I'm definitely going to be doing something. So, <laughs> anyways, I hope it turns out nice and these. But yeah, this is my channel and I'm back. And a lot has changed. As you can see, I upgraded, well, not upgraded, I designed, redesigned my banner my intro and my end card and I was like it looks so nice what do you think do you think it looks better than the old one or do you think it looks worse what do you think and yeah I'm just gonna start off by doing my eyebrows you know but yeah a lot has changed guys you know from the last time I filmed a video, when was that? July 2016, no not July, August 2016 or something like that, till now, a lot has changed, you know, turn 19 now, yeah, big woman and everything, and you know, started university, what else, finished first semester already, um, it was hard, quite hard, not really hard but I'm not a very organised person I leave like all my work till last minute like uh, not even last minute to the last second I was sitting there submitting essays and submitting work like seconds before the deadline can you believe that even I went into the extension deadline so from like I get the normal deadline and then we get a two weeks late deadline I was submitting work seconds before the two minutes late deadline. Yeah, it's just, I don't know, I have some kind of organisation issue that I'm trying to sort out. Especially if you're not at university, I need to be more disciplined, organised, committed. But at some point, I just really felt like giving up, like quitting. So, get a job. <laughs> Find to find, you know. Oh, yeah, I just tried, um, What's it called? Finger coils for the first time in my hair. I've never done them before and I just decided, you know, I have my natural hair. I had this like blue, what's it called? Brazen before and I decided, you know, it's time to try something else. So I decided to try this brush. Okay. Yeah, I decided to try the natural finger coil finger coils in my natural hair basically and it actually looks nice what do you guys think did you like it do you love it or do you not like it well, let me know because i quite like it <laughs> probably wondering like how my quality is so good all of a sudden you know the first video I made I was literally balancing 
my phone and my brother's phone with a flash on on two shoe not two like a mountain of shoe boxes and I had my camera in the middle I still have my camera it's a Samsung NX3000 that I've been using I'm a bit I've been trying to get a Canon but listen when you're a student yeah no, I could if I wanted to but I'm trying to be responsible this is the only kind of life because but you know it's investing in what you want to do and whatever but right now the Samsung I mean the quality is not bad all I did was I got a ring light so the lighting improved like the whole setup basically because if I didn't have the light you, as you saw before the camera it's still the same camera but the videos were just not as good as now what do you guys think it's really bright and like I have three lights plus the ring light so the ring light definitely helps wait what did I just say I have two soft boxes plus a ring light that's what I mean I don't know if I said that so starting university itself has been a challenge of course this looks really dark for me but trust me I'll blend it um, yeah it has been a challenge there's been times already during like first semester where I just wanted to leave already like I started in September and I just wanted to leave first of all I'm living in a completely different city to my university like my university's campus because they have three different campuses they have yeah, three different campuses. I'm not sure if I'm going to tell you guys which uni I'm going to yet, but I'll let you know, maybe, maybe soon. But um, three different campuses, or four or five, I don't know, five I think, but I'm living on a, in a city and I don't go to the campus that is in that city. So, and yeah, I'm not living in halls and I'm in first year, so I'm like missing out on the whole uni experience. But first of all, I'm not a party animal kind of lady. I'm just not. So I've been out during freshers a couple of times. Um, to I've only been to two clubs, and there's quite a few down here. But I don't know. I'm just not that into the party kind of life that university students are exposed to. But you know. I feel like if I did live in the city where my university was, I'd be having a much better time because I'll be surrounded with like students, you know, right? The city that I live in is not really full of students, so I don't get that student vibe. I did live in the city that my university was at because I'd have a better student life I believe because even now I don't really I haven't met that much people because I don't tend to go to university a lot I just go whenever I have a lesson of course and then well most times and then I'll go I haven't joined these societies either like I didn't know you have to pay to join a society, like to take part in some activities or blah, blah, blah. Nobody told me that, but yeah, I haven't joined any societies. I haven't met much friends, and obviously this is a new city for me. I haven't been here before, I haven't lived here before, and... Wait, let me just get this nose contour out right, because... You know what, I'm just going to tell you guys, I'm just going to tell you guys which university I go to so it makes more sense and I'll tell you the city and whatever, the campus and everything. So I go to, you know, blah, blah, blah. I go to the University of Brighton and I live in Eastbourne. My campus is Moleskine, so I'm travelling from Eastbourne to Moleskine and it's 40 minutes on the train, sometimes 35 rarely 30 but yeah tra the commute every morning just to get to a lecture which is probably one hour and then i'm done obviously i'll do work in the library after that but it's just the travel as well just demotivates me 
it just demotivates me to wake up. I have to get up like three hours early before, like, let's say my class is at nine o'clock. I have to get up like six, like 5.30, some really early time to get ready, walk 50 minutes to the train station, take the train, go to uni for the lecture and all that. And most of the time, the trains are always like delayed or what's it called? Um, cancelled or some something's happening because it's southern southern rail so it's just messed up and i wish i did actually live in brighton because it would be a lot better for student life because even now when i want to go to the club i have to go to brighton because i think there's a club here but it's just not good brighton is a spot to be if you want to be clubbing i've been there many times two two three times and i really do like it not a habit of mine though but to travel all the way from Eastbourne at night to go to a club it's a bit much you know shuffles about 600 um for the 10 months it's about 64 pounds for the um 64 pounds for the month so yeah it's a lot to travel and stuff like that what else can i say I'm trying to move there for second year though because I wake up really early trying to get to university and then get to the train station and then they're telling me that this train's cancelled. So I just feel demotivated, like why should I be getting up out of my bed, going to the train station and everything just to hear that the train's cancelled. It's really long and yeah I can't do 24 hours in the library all night in the library because I live here and the trains get cut off at a certain time. Does that even look highlighted? Okay, it kind of does, you can see it. My mum had a baby, yes, after 15 years. Um, I turned 19 this year and I have a brother that is 15, he's turning 16 this year. I'm turning 20 this year. So my brother, my, I will have a brother that will be one this year. Baby, 16th of December, I'll insert a picture for you if you want to see that because it's really cute. And his name's Damari. My friend named him. Well, my friend named him. Hey girl, Shana Play do it. <laughs> yeah, they wanted a name beginning with D and I asked Shan, I was like, girl, what do you think? Like a D name, I don't know. And she's like, what about Damari? And I was like, girl, that sounds good. And then they were like, yeah, let me just I call him Damari. I haven't like I know some people make plans for their videos, structure what they're gonna say. I have not done that. I just decided, you know, I'm just gonna turn the camera on and I'm just gonna talk and do my makeup. So the video's quite just been all over the place. But I'm doing digital media development, which is basically digital media but more scientific rather than arty. So I'm learning how to design, I'm learning how to code at the same time. Um, I really just want to be a web designer and a web developer but I enjoy this course and I really like this course I chose it because there's a lot of different um, options so I get to try a variety whoa that looks so dark whoa I get to try a variety of what's it called things you know what I'm trying to um so I get to do games I get to do design, I get to do coding, I get to do object oriented programming, all sorts of stuff so I can become, I'm going to work with apps as well, websites, so there's a lot of choices that I can make, like take as a career after this, it's not just one thing, like some people just study web development and be a web developer, but I like mine because if I decide, oh I don't want to do web development anymore, I can do gaming, or I can do programming, something like, it's, it's a good course 
you know, if you're interested in this kind of industry. The only thing that I'm a bit like, uh, about is that it's very male-y, male is that even a word? Manly, manly dominated, so there's just lots of guys. Like, I'm in a class with like really, like 99% guys, they're not a lot of females in my class which I'm just like ah, we need a bit more females to be doing these kind of subjects but you know it's coding and gaming and all sorts of guys are more interested in it rather than girls but girls we need to step up and learn how to code because there's a lot of money in it first of all and but I think it's fun not everyone thinks it's fun my class is digital media development then we have a digital media class so there's two big, the digital media class is bigger than my class. My class has about 11, 10, 11 people and digital media has, um, let's say, <laughs> I don't know, it's a large number of people but all of them just want to be like designers. They don't want to do nothing very much technical as I do. I want to be a designer and a developer, not just a designer. So most of the um, this digital media students just want to be designers, which is why digital media is more arty than... Oh, I didn't even learn this bit. It's more arty than scientific. They do learn a bit of programming, but it's not as much as ours. It's not as much. So mine is harder, so I get more of an advantage than with these students, you know? Double money. Designer and developer. It's a lot of money. Yeah, I'm really enjoying the course. I just wish it was more, it was a lot more females in it. And that my university is really quiet. I don't know if it's because I'm in a class, like, full of computer nerds and geeks. <laughs> geeks? I'm a geek. I must be a geek to myself, but um, I don't know if it's because it's just lots of computer nerds in my class which, which is why it's quiet but there must be certain it's just that all the quietest people in the world decided to come to the university of brighton and do digital media because nobody talks we all just sit there nobody talks i also had a haircut like my hair was a lot longer than this you probably you haven't you don't know because you ain't seen it before because i never showed my hair this chapel before but I'll show a picture somewhere up here for you to see. I cut my hair. I wanted to just cut it all off. I might cut it all off. I want to rock like, what's it called? A short hairstyle. Like what they call it, a pixie cut or something like that. I want to rock one of those just to see. Not to see if it would suit me because I really want to. But I think it would. But